Hi everybody, this is Cynthia Basin from Smart Chick, your laser focused kick in the duff mentor to help you step into your personal and professional greatness. How I do this each and every day all over social media and through my keynote speaking, training and mentoring is with laser focused strategies and really smart tips. Let's face it everyone, is that there's a lot of overwhelm and a lot of stress in life. My passion is for you to get out of the overwhelm, reduce the stress, eliminate the ridiculous, and help you stay focused in on your priorities. You can reach out to me at smartchick.me, S-M-A-R-T-C-H-I-C.me. All right, let's get right to the topic of the day, which is a really important topic for all of us to think about. Limiting beliefs. My favorite motivational speaker, my favorite life strategist, Tony Robbins, always talks about limiting beliefs. And he always says, if you don't believe you can achieve something, there's no chance that you're gonna be able to achieve something. So let's start with a quote from Tony Robbins, shall we? All right, the quote from Tony Robbins is the following. Remember, we all get what we tolerate. So stop tolerating excuses within yourself limiting beliefs of the past or fearful states. So really think about this and think about the one area or more of your life that you might be, you know, limiting yourself as far as your mindset goes. Is it in your health? Is it in your career? Is it in the business that you want to start or maybe you have started and you haven't gotten to where you want to be? So say for example, I go outside this door, okay? And my uh, goal is to go running and I want to do five miles for the day. If I walk out the door and I start thinking, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do five miles today. Do you think I'm actually gonna be able to run that five miles without stopping? Uh, you know what, probably not. Probably around the two to three mile mark, you know what, that internal chatter is really gonna to get to me and I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna walk the rest of the way. For those of you that are in business, and I'm in business, right? So if I don't believe in my product or service, if I'm saying to myself, or for those of you that are entrepreneurs, if you're saying to yourself, you know, who is gonna buy from me? Is anybody really gonna be interested in my product or service? You know what? How in the world are people going to buy your product or service if you don't believe in it yourself? It's gonna come off, the energy is gonna be oozing off of you that you do not fully believe in your product or service. So you know what? Our beliefs are powerful. Everything starts and everything ends with mindset. If you are confident in yourself, you're definitely more likely going to be able to achieve the goals that you set out for yourself, okay? So the thing is this, I want you to really, really take this in, and I want you to think about, again, that area where you're having limited beliefs, where you're making excuses, that you're procrastinating, right? We all have that area. I want you to write it down, okay? So write down the area that you have an issue with that you want to change. So the thing is this, don't just write down the issue that you have, you know, which area of your life that you have limiting beliefs, but what do you want? What do you want to shift? What do you want to get better? What area of your life do you wanna be more confident in yourself, okay? I want you to write that down, what area you want to improve upon, okay? And then after that, hmm, what are you gonna do about it, okay? It's good to recognize it, but in order to shift, in order to make things happen for the better, you have to commit and take action to be better. Now, let me just say, is that some of our limiting beliefs have been going on with us for years, right? Where do those limiting beliefs come from? Sometimes all the way back from childhood, right? So perhaps some of these things that you know have been holding you back may have been holding you back for 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 years. Is that, so is this gonna happen overnight? Is all of a sudden after this broadcast, boom! <laughs> you're confident, no fear, you're taking action, you believe in yourself. It's a process, okay? Let me say that one more time. It's a process. It was a process for you to get to where you are today and it's gonna be a process to where you want to be. But if you're committed, you stay intentional, you stay focused to change, 
you can do it, okay? So you identify the limiting belief, you identify where you wanna go, and now it's action, baby. What am I going to do to switch how I talk about myself, how I think about myself, okay? So when you see yourself saying those negative statements, when you see yourself making excuses, what should you do? I say you need to check yourself. You need to figuratively, lovingly kick yourself in the duff and say, stop, right? Because if you don't stop while that trigger is coming at you, right, then you're gonna procrastinate, you're gonna hesitate, you're not gonna take that action. But if you identify those triggers, you identify when that negative chatter starts um, happening, when you start talking bad about yourself and everything that we've spoken about, then you can change that language to something better, more positive. I will run that five miles. I believe in my product, okay? Now, in addition to you doing that positive talk for yourself, is that I really positively challenge you to get an accountability partner to help you with this, right? Because sometimes we don't recognize when we're making excuses, or at least right away. Or sometimes we're just saying stuff out of our mouth, and you know what, it's not positive. Sometimes we're kinda gently kinda talking down about ourselves. So who is that trusted friend? Who is that mentor that you can hire? A coach, somebody to hold you accountable, so that when you start really, you know what, talking down about yourself, starting to make excuses, you give them permission to say stop as well, right? To help you change your language, change your actions for a better self, okay? So that is super, super important. The thing is this, everybody, is that, you know, alone you can do so much, uh, with a great mentor or coach you can do so much. It takes commitment, it takes baby steps, you have to invest in yourself in order for you to change those beliefs. But again, if you have awesome confidence in yourself, you're more likely to get things done. If you have limiting beliefs, you have excuses, you're not gonna be able to achieve the goals that you've set out for yourself. It all starts with mindset, it ends with mindset, okay? And so I want you to commit to writing down everything that we talked about today and see what action you're going to take today, all right? And then the next day and the next day, every single day making this part of your to accomplish list to change those limiting beliefs to I can do anything beliefs. I am Cynthia Bazin, your laser focus kick in the duff mentor. I would love your comments below. If you are struggling, right, with fear, struggling, feeling like you're stuck, struggling with confidence anywhere in your life, please reach out to me at smartchick.me and let's see about um, doing a mentoring session. Let's see about doing some ongoing mentoring sessions. The thing is this, life is happening now. Do not let your past, okay, if it was a negative past, dictate where you're going in the future. You can rewrite your story. You can change everything right now. I look forward to hearing from you. Have an awesome, awesome day.